Welcome back to Minecraft yet again. We're here gaming. Uh, I'm just going to start off by saying since last time I did quite a bit of stuff. I'll try to go through everything I did as quick as possible and hopefully I don't miss anything. If you see something that wasn't there last time or looks a little different, I probably just forgot to mention it. But first off, I did a lot more mining uh, because we needed iron and stuff to make all the maps for the map room. I didn't find any more diamonds. We're still sitting at four, so we need some more of those. And yeah, there's only one ironing in there, but I have some in the furnaces that I guess I can take out now. And I've actually already used quite a bit of the stuff I mined to make maps and stuff. You'll see. Oh, and I made an anvil. 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 However you want to say it. I made one of those for uh, like repairing stuff that I enchanted because I did some enchanting and got some pretty cool stuff because I spent quite a bit of time at the XP farm we made in between episodes just getting levels to enchant over and over again. So the first thing is this axe it has efficiency four. It's pretty cool. This pickaxe, unbreaking three, efficiency four, and fortune three. That's a pretty dang good pickaxe if I do say so myself. And then I also enchanted some iron armor and an iron sword. I also did some bows, trying to get an infinity bow. Haven't got one yet. We got that book. Uh, that pickaxe is the same one from last time. And then this armor is the helmet, unbreaking three, respiration three, aqua affinity. Chest plate has fire protection and unbreaking. Iron leggings has protection and unbreaking. And the iron boots have protection. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I didn't use it in between episodes just because I wanted to use it for the first time in an episode, I guess. The sword isn't that great. I'll probably just leave that there. I have this one, which has looting. Now, for the big stuff I did in between episodes. Uh, I'm just going to go into the map room. I'm going to show you the map. The map's going to look a little bit different because I did some stuff outside. So if we go in, first of all, there's more maps and a lot more frames. I found out you can take the map around a corner. It's not perfect, but it's close enough that it looks fine. You can also put maps on the ceiling, so that's pretty neat. But you can see I did a lot of this in between episodes because I found out it was pretty boring to try to record just walking. And then if you look at our home area, there's a wall around it. I walled in all of this. And I also uh, put torches everywhere to try to stop stuff from spawning. But I hear a zombie, so apparently that didn't work. And then that, that right there, what is that? What is that? I wonder what that is. That is the building that leads down to our XP farm. Let me go show you. Let, let, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at what we got out here. So boom, you walk out. What well, do you got? The farm, just like always. To your left. That guy's here, apparently. I didn't know you were here. What do you, what do you have? Do I want any of this? No. No, I don't. But uh, I just... Put that wall all the way around. There's torches everywhere. And I cut down all of the trees that were inside of the wall. So that took a while. I'm talking a while. But there's torches everywhere. I have these gates. I have one here. There's one over there. And there's one on the other side over there for when we leave. But yeah, it's just torches and no trees. And just a big walled in area that we can do whatever we want in this area. And this, I think this looks pretty cool. This is the building to go down to the XP farm. I got the chains. This is some of that shroom light that is in the nether. I think it looks pretty cool. You walk in, boom, you got chains hanging. You got some of that cracked stone. I'm not a good builder in Minecraft by any means, but I think this is pretty cool. And why do I hear a skeleton? Oh, because, okay, there's, there's like a cave there that I didn't put torches in, but you go down and boom this is the xp farm so this the area we have to go to to wait for the mobs to spawn like because you have to be with close enough to the spawner i made a little waiting room that you can see in there with and i only got shot by about 17 skeletons while making this but i think it's pretty cool the light does not stop them from spawning they still spawn it still works perfectly fine um so that's the waiting room you come down here you got all these chests. So this one is just stone swords. I use stone swords for killing them, so I don't use my stuff. This chest, when you come down here, you walk in, you put your entire inventory in this chest so that all you have on you is a stone sword. And then you do all your stuff. And then for mob drops, the bones go in here, the arrows go in here, and the bows go in here. As you can see, I've killed quite a few skeletons to get all this and i had a lot more bows but i made this 
So what I'll do is I'll take a bunch of bows that I don't want. Like I'll just say, I don't want this one. Just throw it in here and listen. Yeah, that water takes it to lava and it burns it. So that's what we can do to get rid of all the bows we don't want. The enchanted ones I'll want to keep. All the other ones I'll get rid of. But for now, that we're not doing that. But I'm just showing you what I did. So we got all this. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's really cool. And then back out here, I just covered this like tunnel look at the hole in the ground i just covered it with dirt so that there's not a hole in the ground and yes the wall goes through the water too all the way down it took a lot of stone i, I spent a lot of coal and a lot of cobblestone smelting it into smooth stone and then making those bricks and the brick walls it took a while but i think it was uh, i think it was worth it because it's really cool and then this map i made one map that i just zoomed out really far for me to just have on me so i don't get lost i kind of want to zoom it out even more can i do that it says it's at how oh my gosh oh my gosh okay i'm not gonna zoom out more than that but this is the one i'll just keep on me and then as i explore hopefully we'll fill it up this is everywhere i've been so as you can see i went this way there's another one of those nether portal things there there's also one up there I went this way a little bit. There's ocean. I want to find a village. I need to find a village so I can find a villager to trade for a saddle. Because I want a horse. And I didn't know that you can't craft a saddle. You have to either find it in a dungeon or trade for them. And I haven't found one yet. So I can't get a horse. It's great. I don't know why you can't craft a saddle, but... That's how it is. Let me just make sure I'm not crazy. No, I even looked it up on the wiki. You can't craft them. It's dumb. But so what I'm thinking is we can go exploring. It's just a matter of do we want to go this way or do we want to go this way? This way we'll need a boat because that's that's all ocean right here. This way, I don't know. I haven't gone that way. So we might go that way just because we haven't gone. I don't have any more blank maps to fill in, but it should be fine. So, I have my inventory pretty much ready to go. So, we can just head out that way, I guess, and see if we can find a village. Because if we can, I mean, uh, I guess I need to take my emeralds with me just in case. But, we'll see. And wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, time to go on an adventure. We're just going to go for it. Um, You know what? We're going to go that way because the map is more that way so i'm gonna make a boat and we're gonna sail across the great blue ocean and see what we can find you can see how much wood we have now it's it's mostly birch but doesn't matter there we go we got a boat let's go let's go oh there's an enderman i'm gonna kill you because we need ender pearls at at some point setting you on fire might oh, can i hit What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Now you're mad. Oh, I wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. I can't hit it. What in the world? I can't. What? Stop it. Oh, God. This is. All right. We got two ender pearls and a grass block. Neat. That was not a very well fought fight. That was pathetic. I'm not even going to lie. That was not good. Oh, look, a horse. Too bad I can't take you because I don't have a saddle. Yay. This is also a lot further than I thought it was. This this map is not going to reach out into the ocean. So I might just ride up along the coast for a little ways and see what we can find. But here we go. Yay. I might. I, I'm probably just going to cut until I find something. I probably won't do a time lapse thing because it wouldn't be super exciting. Hmm. Well, this is as far up as the map goes. I... Oh, gosh. I didn't know the boat would break those. I know there's nothing that way because I've been there. So, I guess... Just say screw the map and let's go out into the great blue ocean and see what we can find. If anything. Can these stupid lily pads get out of the way? This is insane. There's nothing. I wonder this might 
ruin everything, but... Oh god, what's gonna happen? It's gonna take 20 minutes for this to load everything, for starters. Alright, I've been sitting here for a while waiting for chunks to load. You can notice I'm getting like 6 FPS. What am I getting? 13! Um, looking in the distance, I don't see any sign of a village. Nothing's loaded that way because I haven't looked over there. I see no sign of a village, but I do see there's one of those nether portal things there. And there's another one right there, if you can see that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to turn this back down to like around where it was. Oh, God. Are we good? Uh, it's going to take a while for chunks to load. And we're just going to go this way, I guess. Because looking that way, I could see for a ways there was nothing. Well, I found a witch's hut. So that's pretty neat, I guess. What's up? Bitch. All right. What's in your hut? What do you have? Absolutely nothing. I'm taking your cauldron and your pot. Let's go. We're leaving. We don't need this place. Still no sign of a village, by the way. And now it's night, so mobs are demolishing my duty. Well, it appears I have hit ocean again. This is ridiculous. How have I not found a village? Like, not even a sign of one, except for that abandoned one I found forever ago. But, like, I've gone really far. Like, I am not even... My dot is not even on the edge of this map anymore. Like, I've been gone. Like, I have been going for a while and there is there is just no sign of life anywhere so i guess i just head back now and then we go in a different direction because this is about as far as it can go this way i think yeah i guess i'll just head back i'll see you when i get there this sucks all of this just to get a saddle for a horse why have they not added a crafting recipe for a saddle this is stupid oh look i can see it i see home oh my gosh it's taken so long Yes, I'm back. Let me in. Oh, oh my God. That was so far away. What is the, the Z here? The Z here is negative 120. I think I got up to like negative 4,000, almost 4,000 blocks away. Holy crap. That was really far. <laughs> oh my god, that was so far. Because I was going like way, way above that. I don't know, that was really far. And now I guess we'll go this way. I'm gonna be so mad if I go like down and there's a village like right here. Or like right here, somewhere like really close. Oh man, let me sleep off the night. 